Why don't you reply to my text? I mean, what were you thinking having a pop at the wind, eh? I just told her to keep her dirty hands off, all right? Yeah, well, she's only a kid. She's a scheming little cow. And I swear, if she goes near you again, I'll scratch her eyes out. Quite jealous, eh? What of her? Is it? Uh, not interrupting, am I? Uh, no. I've got to go anyway. All right, text me later. Yeah. All right, time. Going well, then. Yeah. Except we can't ever get any alone time, but hey-ho. So come on, don't leave me in suspense. Talk to Paul. Yep. And? Because he wants to take things slowly. Take things slowly? Phil caught you getting it on in the car lot. I think you passed the point of holding hands, didn't you? The problem is, bruv, I've never really dated anyone else before, except Abby. Speaking of which, have you heard from her? A couple of texts. She's not going to her mum's anymore. So what are you going to do about Paul? I don't know. Try and be romantic, I think. <laughs> what? I should finish it, didn't I? See, the problem with you and Paul is, right, is you've missed the dating bit, haven't you? <clears throat> the sex I can do. Just the talking bit I find difficult. Well, that's all right, cos girls are bang up for blokes who make out, they listen. All you've got to do is nod. Right, yeah, yeah, even if you ain't got a clue what they're saying, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, hang on, hang on. Paul ain't a girl, though, is he? Yeah, well, it works both ways, doesn't it? Right. Tell me we're in a club. Oh, all right, yeah. Right. Here we go. What, what kind of club? Well, we've done that. Well, gay or straight? Well, we're two men, aren't we? Right, so come on. Chat me up. Oh. All right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. They're, uh, they're really nice specs, mate. Are they, are they designer, are they? Do you want to know how to do this or not? Right. Right. Has anyone ever told you, mate, you got... You've got really beautiful eyes, you have. <laughs> as touching as this little scene is, I need one of you to look at my van. I think the clutch is slipping. Yeah, look, Buster, we, we yeah, just... Yeah, no, 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 that's all right, yeah. I understand. I've been inside, don't forget. Don't pick the soap up in the showers and all that, eh? Look, uh, I'll drop the van round after work, OK? Yeah, all right, mate. Right, from now on, you are on your own. No. Someone looks pleased with themselves. Well, I need you back an overnight bag. I'll take you away Monday night. Hmm. Where? It's a surprise. And would the surprise involve an overnight stay in a hotel somewhere? Come on, Ben. Is that the best you can do? What are you doing? That was a complete waste of money. Well, it's hardly a wonder Paul's kicked off, is it? I mean, he wanted a bit of romance, you know, not a, not a leg over in an hotel. I mean, it is a little thing that made a difference, isn't it? Another no cup of tea? No cup of tea, please, darling. What are you doing, Leia? Uh, not in front of the TV, probably. You? Mm. Well, I've got a date, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Anyone I know? Well, maybe. Where are we going? <sighs> You'll see. You did all this for me? Well, I think, except the weather, yeah. Would the gentleman care for some hod and chips? It helps when your brother's the owner. <sighs> Listen, Paul, I know I've missed you about in the past. I'm serious about this. I'll improve it. Go get me some ketchup. Go get me some ketchup. <laughs> Grab's up! 